Hi, my name is Vaibhra Wadekar. I am Lead Tech Support Analyst here at BMC Software. Today, I am going to show you how to use onboarding utility that comes along with BMC Remedy with Smart IT to import the ITSM data to the social database. You can refer the online documentation from which I followed the steps for this video tutorial. Smart IT onboarding utility migrates required ITSM data onto the social server. This data is required to show timelines, update feed, etc. as well as the dashboard. For this demonstration, I am going to show you how to run this utility and what parameters are needed. Onboarding utility can be located on MyIT Smart IT server under the folder OPT BMC Smart IT MyIT Smart IT Onboarding Tool Onboarding. You have to extract the package onboarding.zip and you'll see the contains like this. Before you run the onboarding utility, make sure your Java home is set the version information about onboarding utility you can just type onboarding data search hyphen version this will give you the onboarding utility version in order to find the parameters that we pass along with onboarding utility you can type in onboarding data h and it will give you information what are parameters we need to pass so you can see that here the first parameter is ITSM server host name, ITSM server admin user, ITSM server admin user password, ITSM server TCP port, and these are the Mongo database parameters. So social Mongo database host name, social MongoDB port, social MongoDB database name, database username, database password. Now let us look where to get that information. In order to find which ITSM server the MyIT Smart IT server is using, we can go to the folder opt apache tomcat external conf. There should be a file called connect.properties. If you just do it should list the ITSM server name running on which port the next thing is to find out the mongo database details and the username password set up for the mongo database so you can go to the directory location opt bmc smart it my it smart it my it social and there is a file called config.js where we configure the details for the mongo database where it is installed, what port it is using, what is the database name and if there is any username and password. Now we are ready to run the onboarding utility. You can see the syntax are onboarding.sh hyphen x itsm server name hyphen u itsm username password the itsm ar server port the tenant id and then mongo database host, mongo database port, the database name and all the activity. The hyphen info parameter will give you the information how much time does it going to take to onboard the data from ITSM to the social database. Let's run this command. You can see that to onboard the data it is going to take approximately 30 seconds. Now to run this command, I am going to just click, take out the hyphen info parameter and I am going to run this. You can see that it's run the onboarding utility and it says onboarding tool run completed successfully. If you notice that when you run the onboarding utility, by default it is in the info mode. You can change the logging level of onboarding utility by modifying the file onboarding.logging.properties. 
I'm fine to debug. And once you run the onboarding utility, it will generate a onboarding log. There are additional parameters that you can pass on with onboarding utility, as you can see in my screen. You can also use the CSV method where you can define the incident or the record that you would like to migrate from ITSM. You can put that in a CSV and provide a CSV with command line option. These are the steps needed for running the onboarding utility. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.